you can find mathematics in games, too. Games? Oh, boy. Let's begin with a game that's played on squares. Checkers? No, chess. Chess? A mathematical contest between two minds. It's a game that has been enjoyed for centuries by kings and commoners. In fact, Lewis Carroll, a famous mathematician with a literary mind, used chess as a setting for his classic tale, Through the Looking Glass. Alice found herself face to face with a none too friendly group of chess pieces. Good heavens, what's this? On my soul, it appears to be a lost pawn. Uncle Pawn, I'm Donald Duck. He says he's Donald Duck. Preposterous. Or it could be an Alice. Alice! No, 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 it's a lost pawn. Lost pawn? Stop that pawn! Ow, Mr. Spirit! Ow, ow, ow. Now you can look at this game from a safer perspective. Chess is a game of calculated strategy, and since the board is geometrical, the moves are mathematical. Checkmate, and the game is over. That's very interesting. What's next? Practically all games are played on geometrical areas. In the words of Galileo, mathematics is the alphabet with which God has written the universe.